Right, what are we on? The, uh, the tenth hole, again, about the same distance as the first hole. Moves to the right as well. Richo's smash on the Mars bar. Got his GX glove. I've got my GX glove back on. We've got 336 metres. Slightly around to the right. I'm going to hit three wood just for something different. Just for but something. But you line that up and it'll go. It'll go. Line. It'll go where yes, where you aim it. So I got my GX again. It does feel very good. Like on the hand, I would say the fits better on the tailor made. But I'm going to try the medium large. What Richo's got because so I've got large. Straight down the middle. Basically straight at old mate walking off the green. Oh, all right. No, that's perfect. So basically we're going straight down there. Look at the stripes, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Oxley's looking good. Cut a little more, Richo. Oh yeah, good shot. Over the bunker, perfect. That's, That's better. Right, I'm hitting the three wood just for something different. Must be that. Uh, must be that ball with the uh, electrical it must have, tape. It must on. must have been that fruity Anzac you bloody eat. The ball with the electrical tape on. <laughs> Looks a bit fancy, doesn't it, Richard? What's that? The club. Jeez. Slightly different setup to the Strixen I had. We've gone softer in the shaft and lower spinning in the head. Mate. It's to the I, left, it's a bit of an overhook. I think lower spinning in your head would be a good thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've hit this a few times here. I've hit, a, I've hit, I've hit him in the toe, I've hit a few at Mulaney. It's that same shape. So maybe I need to muck around the neck, but nice flight. A bit too much hook though, for my liking. Can you say that again? Mmm, very nice. <laughs> the fruity Anzac. Yep. Um, so we got 75 metres in from here. That's my three wood. Like I said, a bit of an overhook for me, but it comes off good. Just need to maybe not hit in the toe so much. Right, you're in pen, you're yeah, the look, the right. keep that there. Show us again. Just lot, lot, line it up. He's, no, he's all about lining it up. Look I'm him. thinking about going also to the right. I like it. What club you got? 54. 52. Oh, you, oh that's right, you got 52, 58, don't you? Well, I'm thinking just left the edge of that bunker. Perfect. Perfect. Mate. What the balls want to get used to? <laughs> Oh, too far right. Too far right. Too far right. I must have mislined it. <laughs> you misaligned it, mate. Oh, what do you mean? You flushed it. I don't know. Straight in the middle of the face. <clears throat> 58. Three quarters. Yeah, I caught it a bit high on the face. It's quite a bit long, you can see all the grass in the face. Yep. That's why it sort of jumped a little bit. Bugger. Bugger, 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 bugger. Oh. Rightio, up on the green. Have a look at it, this is up the next hole, up 11. Just stripe show, look at that. Very nice. Again, Oxley is looking very good. So hopefully the Glades next week. Actually, I was speaking to Tolopan before because he's a member at the Glades and he said it's looking magic. <laughs> Camp Smith style, mate. Just aligning at 90 degrees. So, what did we shoot front? Was it four or five? I got no idea. But anyway, we're going along better than I expected to. We're just making a few putts. We're kind of hitting it all right. Jeez, she moves a lot more. I didn't think I was going to move that far. Not anywhere near that far. 
I mean, yeah, okay, it was a bit of a wobbly, a wobbly line, but I didn't really think it was uh, you were that far off lining it up. Hit it. Oh, I had to hit it. I mean, it, it was it was way too far. Well, mate, done. that lineup is funky. Yep. Oh, I like it because the the, the T little line that I've got is the exact width of the uh, of the little doobie. I like it. Right. Let's let's fire up. Let's fire up. Rightio, Steve's all over the uh, the tailor-made tour response. What do they call it? True track or something like that? Yeah, he's lined it up. It should go that way. Ah, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. You're all over it. All right. We'll give it a whirl. Par five. So if I aim at that corner, I should just get a little far. Mate, you just need to aim it down the middle left edge. Let's go for the second or third white stripe. Dunk, 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 the whole white stripes. Water. No. I hit the ball, couldn't get lost. Oh, oh, oh mate. Oh, terrible with the drive today. I think I've hit what, one good one. You, well, you can't even really call it that good. Oh, the last one was okay. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, 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 the one just before was decent. Yep. That's about it. One. Mate, that is about it. Unbelievable. Oh, someone's been messing with the shaft. <laughs> you're just you're necking it and straight up at that tree in the way distance. I toe jammed it, but it's safe. Yep. And it went right on the tree that I was asking for it to go on. I think I've hit it somewhere out here. But you see, this is why you go these things. Because you can almost hit them anywhere across there and you, you tend to get a uh, half decent result. Let's chase that one, Richo. Well, you haven't got that line. You haven't got really that I'm going to hit it straight over there. <laughs> We're just talking about paper straws. Comment below, what are your thoughts on paper straws? I think it's kind of stupid that you have a paper straw in a plastic cup. Why wouldn't you have a paper cup in a plastic straw? Or none yes. of the above. <laughs> because those bamboo bloody utensils are terrible. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't make you make tongue Yeah, they, it, it, it sucks all the moisture out of your tongue. Yep. It's almost like a battery. Oh. <laughs> we got 190 metres back up the hill. Still got 190. <laughs> <coughs> One ninety. It was that tasting mouth. Yes. Was that one eighty three? Did I say? So it's playing one ninety something. So I'm going to try to hit a low four on and let it chase up there. Not that low. Oh, I think it just kicked over the bunker. It's either over or in the bunker because it took a weird yep. kick to the right. I've, uh, I've richoed that one. Yep. Good one. <laughs> GX glove feels good though. Yep. <coughs> right. So um, yes. So so kicked out. Must have hit an edge of it because it sort of took a straight right turn at Albuquerque. Um, up on the green there. Pins way up the back. 58? Yeah. Travel a little bit. It's done a bloody good job, Richard. 
That's going to be near pin high, I reckon. Not too bad. Yeah. Not I really thought bad. just go a little bit because I thought it was going to land on the edge of the green. Like the apron and just check up. Okay. Let's hold this one and let's move on. Good play. Oh, I've knifed it a little. Sit. No. Just groove. Groove low, sorry, I'll walk in front of it. Yeah, groove way too, too low. Oh. Right, mine's nice all the way over the back over here, which is not good, and that's the second hole. <coughs> the other par five there. Probably just a little bit right to left. Go. Oh. That is, like, stop it. That's sitting on the edge, isn't it? Yep. It didn't want to fall. The earthquake didn't happen. No. Okay. Yep. See, see, I went to that edge. It was perfect. Well, yours was spot on. It just didn't have, didn't yeah. quite, quite have the pace. One more roll. One more roll, baby. Good. Well done. That's nice. Right edge. Hit it. It's yeah, heating up, Richo. It was, was pretty well that edge. Yeah. Well, it, that was, it, was the same, it was the same putt as yours. Yep. Except for I just hit mine a little harder. A little harder. So it went in. <laughs> just as I started it up, we're talking about the merch. So for, for us, we've got t shirts, caps. Uh, what have we got? Head covers, putter covers. Yep. Yeah, you know, like I said, t-shirts, towels, ball markers, wallets. We don't have it. We don't have rip it. We don't have like and subscribe. Well, that's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah. Where's the boom? Oh my. <laughs> He's lost the boom. Nah. You've lost hey. the boom too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we got 520 metres par 5 down the hill to the to the left, yep. <coughs> second par 5 in a row, towel it down there, let's get on, let's make eagle because the next par 3 is long. Can you do a belly flop? Um, I could try. Rick can, but he cut the video off. Actually? Yep. Oh, think of Rick! Travel a bit more ball, just a little bit. Oh, that's pure, Richard. That cut as well. Boom. Boom. That's the best one I've seen all day. That's the best one I've seen you hit in a long time, mate. change of that glove. You see? <laughs> GX, baby. Good shot, Richard. There's a video of John Daly doing a belly flop. Right. And then Rick starts to take his gear off to do a belly flop. Really? But it, it stops. So I'm not sure if he did it or not. Look what a dirty creek you're jumping into. <laughs> John Daly or Rick? Rick. Really? Surprising. Yeah, well, he was on the golf course. John Daly was at a lake or something somewhere. Right. I'm going down that same line, Richard. I don't know if you would outdo Big John. Mate, old John Daly would go really well. Straight down the same line, Richard. But well, it definitely hit some trees down the left. Yep, we can get down there. If bit. I can get lucky, but yours is pure. That's the only reason I went and tried to hit it. Good drive, Rich. Right, mine's buggered. Mine's somewhere in the gunge. So this is Rich Hayes. 240 to flag. Oh, and he's hooked one. Keep hooking, keep hooking, keep hooking. Okay. Down there somewhere, I can't see it. Did it make it on the other side? No, I don't think it went too far. It's over the other side of the fairway, I think. Yes, I it, think it, it didn't make it. Yeah, it's off the fairway. But... Do you know like that? That's... Mate, that's you aiming 27 million metres to the right. And you did bring it back. Oh, I got all the shots. Tops. <laughs> 
So yeah. if I can hit the same hook as I did off the tee on one, it could be in a good spot. Yeah, yeah well, you might as well, because I'm pretty sure mine's so well, okay. we've, we've at least got a shot to the green. Yeah. I'll keep hooking a little more. What did that hit? I didn't hear it. No, there's a shed down there. Remember, on the on the right of the uh, the right of the next par three, there's like a little sitting shed. I'm pretty sure I hit that. It made a nice dong. Did you hear it? <laughs> All right. Hopefully, no one's in there. Hopefully, 60 60 meters. So that's where we are. That's. That's the dude, Majiggy. Come on. So as it was 240, so this is the flag or the middle of the green was 240. So I've flown it a decent distance. It was hunting. It probably would have killed somebody, but luckily old mate was up near the green. I didn't even think that it was going to do that. Well, it could be good. I mean, it's good for distance, mate. Yeah. Just a long way right, well, but wasn't game enough to go straight. Well, there is a bunker there, isn't it? Um, we are basically oh, basically on the ladies' tee block. So I haven't hit it past the ladies' tee block, but it's, it's just it's just another tee block now. Like I said, I think that's a great idea. Just say it's a red tee block, it's a white tee block, it's a blue, it's a black. Yeah, yeah. Well, to, to, to me, that's perfect. Oh, and then, like I said, if you decide to play off the tips, so be it. If you want to play a forward, go for it. Yep. Go! Oh, that got lucky. Yep. That got lucky. Just one more. Rightio, so you can see again how striped it is. This is a decent length hole, 520 or something like that. So off the bats, it's even further. <clears throat> but you start to hit a good tee shot. Richo, we had 240. If you get down the bottom of the hill, it's like 200 and a bit. But then you've got this tree here that sort of blocks a few things out. So protect it. Do it. Oh. I actually don't mind the scrambled line, Richo, sort of sideways. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to. The ball's not too bad, actually. It feels right. Well, yeah, the, t <coughs> the tour response. Mm. Too busy thinking about the stroke. Well done. I can't hold a putt with this thing. Nah. <laughs> it must be that line. Um, we got out of that okay, I suppose. Yeah. Could have been bad, but yeah, yours was stuck behind trees back there. Yep. But this is why, because this next hole is like 170 or something like that. So it's a long hole. And then we got some really, really nice holes coming back. So Oxy's looking really, really good. Ah, it's been good, Nick, isn't it? Oxy's looking good. I'm going to go back yeah. to the tailor made glove. Look, this feels just as good as the Taylor May glove, put it that way. Um, you know, like I said, a little thinner, I'd rather the Velcro. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll put a link somewhere below in all of these, just because, yeah, George sent us these, but they are they feel great. Like I said, maybe a, a, a little bit thinner than the Taylor Maids, but then that makes them feel softer. So after one round, I'm not going to know how long it lasts, because the Taylor Maids last many, 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 many rounds. So cheap feels good not bad beautiful and don't forget smash that like button <laughs> <laughs> you're that's what you say, don't you? oh that's what they say to say hey? i don't know if you don't like it don't like it hit, hit this like who cares yep i don't care but anyhow see you then beautiful see you <laughs>